Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today in this tutorial, I will I show you how to use this new content aware filter in Adobe After Effects. If you are familiar with uh, Photoshop, you already have this content aware filter in in Photoshop, which you can use for images. But this is all new level because this one is going to work in a video, and if this function work properly you guys can save a lot of time instead of going through one frame by frame by frame editing stuff you see masking and things you can do it very easily very fast and keep in mind guys this filter is con content aware fill is a new latest uh, update so it won't work perfect yet but anyway we will try this filter and see how, how how it can be useful and how to use it all right okay so let's start with the easy video which is this one here what i wanted to do here is i wanted to hide uh, these two guys here from the video using the content aware filter okay so to do that first thing first uh, you need to go to you need to open the content aware fill area here uh, if you don't see this one go to windows and just click on content aware fill here okay once you on the fill you have to draw a mask on the area oops sorry guys you have to do the mask when let's draw a mask where which where you want to hide the people so we want to hide these two people here make sure the mask is subtract not add so you will see a black mask here since these uh, two people are in the same place in our video even though the video is moving those guys are not outside the frame so we can leave the mask we don't need to animate the mask so we can leave the mask and just go to content aware fill we have three different option here object surface and edge blend most probably most of the time we will be using object object will go and remove an area remove an object from the video and it will replace the surround pixels based on the surrounding pixels surface is according to adobe it's good for solid surfaces let's say if you want to hide something from a from a signboard or some non not much moving object you can use surface and edge blend is where is uh, more of removing static objects from a surface something like text on a paper or which you can use to render quickly so in our case we will be using the object and we wanted to remove from work area which is this area and let's generate the fill layer and see how it's going to work Alright guys, it has nicely rendered for us. So let's see our filter. I think it's worked fine. Let's now let's play the video and see if there's anything we can. Mm, so far for this video, as far as hiding those two guys, it has done a good job, I think. Because uh, I don't see any. Let it render first and. Alright guys, this video is a bit bigger, so that's why it's taking some time for render. And let let it render first. Okay, cool. I think for this video, it has done a good job. Even though one problem is the frame is not moving. Uh, that is one of the problem we are going to see in this in this adaptive 
because if the surface area is moving it's it's just placing one whole picture like this so it may be a problem but you can hide it by replacing another layer and moving the layer here and whatever you do in photoshop to hide this kind of imperfection but as far as hiding the people it's okay right for this video it's okay so but this is very easy in terms of the challenge so let's go to another video and see how it's going to work for an example yeah so let's go to this video and try to hide this car so let's open this as a new composition Okay, so what we need to do is we have to hide this, hide this video. Uh, what we need to do now is we have to hide this car from this footage. Okay, let's start from the frame one because there is a moment in the camera, it's not staying in the same place. So we need to move the mask also. So let's draw a mask. Okay, same as earlier, go to mask and make it subtract. For now, we just leave it non because we are going to animate this one. Yeah, let's uh, give a little bit further and let's animate and see. And when it reach here. I think we bring down the timing a bit so we don't need a let's bring it three seconds just for this video okay so from here right here yeah so I think it's in the correct track but you can see the edge of the car so what I will do is make sure the alp there is an extension from the from the alpha edge like 20 yeah okay so let's I think it should work properly now okay but anyway let's start creating a fill layer and see Okay guys, it has done the rendering, but there is a small line appearing, especially front half of the video. After here, it, it disappears, I think. So, it has done a quite good job, but we have still can see some, uh, some shape of a car and a line here. So, it didn't do a good job but still we can use this footage and we can use another adaptive uh, fill option and hide these two part i think so maybe you guys get the idea this filter can be this fill can be used for certain uh, image certain videos but it's not completely there yet not as not advanced as photoshop's container fill but I think uh, this will get improved over time and it will be easier for us to remove things from the video. So for the last video, I will try to remove something, uh, something different. So maybe this one, yeah. So let's see how this one will look. So in this video, 
mm, this is a very good video because the video is on moving but let's say if you want to remove the sky from the video I think the content because because the, there is no movement from the guy the filter will work fine but only worry for me is this water because I won't think the water water you can get the same effect of this water but anyway let's try and see how it will work let's bring down the length of this video to three seconds because we don't need to wait for so much time for rendering okay so let's start with the masking and uh, it's a bottle here right same as others we have to make it subtract let's give a feather here maybe 20 and from here let's also give a feather i don't know whether this feather is useful or not i don't know how this how this filter works but let's see um, I think a bit. Okay, so far the entire video, the guy is not in outside this mask. So let's generate and see how it will look. So here it is guys, uh, as I was saying, as I was suspected earlier, it has created, it has removed the person nicely from the, from the video, but the moment on the video has not copied to the, copied here, so the moment of this river is missing, uh, we can, we can adjust this video by copy this part here and place it on top of here with a mask. But as far as the fill goes, it didn't do exactly what we wanted, but it, it removed the person from the video. So I think here it is guys. So the first version of this continue fill, as you can see, uh, it's still helpful but example for this video it has nicely removed the person from the from the clip you won't even realize now there were two guys in in here if I bring go back and hide the mask you can see there are two people on the on the video but with our filter fill we we we, uh, we hide those two people nicely uh, but still we still need to put up some more manual work to get it right for other videos maybe the future versions of future updates of this fill will eliminate a lot of these errors so let's see guys so hopefully this one will helpful for you guys for certain videos and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next videos